Now when we look at walking, we really call it gait, and gait is a term that we use to, to describe the analysis of all of those things put together. So basically from about here in your trunk, all the way down through your hips and pelvis, into your knee, into your ankle, and into your foot. And what we're looking at is how do all of the things along the chain work together with one another. And gait is a very important thing because things can go wrong at one area. Let's just say again, I have limited mobility in my ankle. I just sprained my ankle a couple days ago. I just twisted my ankle a couple days ago. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start to potentially get pain up in my hip because something's going wrong and I'm starting to walk differently as a result of that or because I don't have the strength in one muscle, let's say my calf, as much as I have in my quadricep, my thigh muscle. I can start to have things go wrong because I don't have good gait, meaning that all of those joints, all of those body parts are all able to work together. Very commonly, we'll see somebody with plantar fasciitis or heel pain, and what's happening there is, sure, they have heel pain because they're coming down very hard on their heel, but that's not usually the true cause of it, the true cause of it is usually something up in the hip. They're usually weak in their glutes. They usually don't have a long enough hamstring length to give them a good stride. So they're coming down with a lot more force on that heel. Yes, it presents as heel pain, as a common problem of plantar fasciitis, but it's actually something that's happening in their gait way further up the chain. And again, that's where an expert physical therapist comes in here at Loudon Sports Therapy Center is we can take a look at your gait, figure out what's actually causing the problem and give you and get you on the right track for the right solution. If you're thinking about starting a walking program or you're currently doing a walking program or if you have any problems with walking, whether it's pain, difficulty with walking, I can't walk that long, whatever it might be, that's really where a trained eye comes in. Somebody needs to assess your gait because we've got to look at specific pieces, what's happening at all of those parts of that chain and make sure that things get addressed. Because if you've ever heard the saying, no pain, no gain, or a little bit of pain is okay, any of those statements are completely untrue. Pain is your warning sign, difficulty is your warning sign, fatigue is your warning sign that something isn't working properly when you go to do that activity, and in this case, walking. And if that continues, that's what leads to things like Achilles tendonitis and Achilles ruptures, plantar fasciitis or heel pain, knee pain or patellofemoral pain, arthritis in your hip, your knee, your back, disc problems, um, bursitis, iliotibial band problems, all of those things come from the fact that mechanically your gait is not the way that it should be and one joint is overworking or overstressing another. You really need to keep in mind that problems can be prevented and number two, if you're already having problems when you're walking, again even if it's for 20 feet or for two hours, problems can be treated, addressed and corrected so that your gait is normal, we get you walking, you're able to use it for a healthy lifestyle, keeping yourself happy and active and doing the things you want to do, but being able to do it without pain and or the possibility of future problems developing.